Fuck out of here. I miss Chance when he's rapping, man. Fuck is happening. If you want to get the singing out on these singles, good. Just don't leave this shit on your album, man. Is this Chance Thug, the rapper? Man, just after some reviewing some fire from Florida man himself, Silver the Q. Yeah. Check his shit out if you ain't seen it yet. Yeah. Man's is talented. Man's putting on for his city. Yes. Wise up, bro. Wise up. We Jungle Beats. My homie here is... My homie here is uh, LostEastPhone.com. And I'm uh, Jangly Chains 2004. And uh, we're here to do Chance the Rapper's four track EP he just put out. I'm assuming it's an EP, he didn't really say. And uh, you know what? I wasn't a big fan of Coloring Book, straight up. Thought it was a very average album. Acid Rap was like here. 10 Day was like here. And Coloring Book was like there. Like it wasn't terrible. I just, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. But nonetheless, I love Chance the Rapper. And uh, <clears throat> I want to see what he's got for us here today. Yeah, man. Um, the, the internet's buzzing. Chance is cooking up something. Uh, apparently, he's working with Kanye now to make a seven track album. Um, just like he did for all the other artists of good music. please. That would be crazy. So these, I'm assuming these are, are Lucy's? Or are they from the album? I think it's an EP. On, 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 what I saw on Hip Hop Heads did not allude to it being an EP. But this, he released four tracks at once. So you could say it is. List, you could, of course. We might as well just listen to him and see how we, how we see a picture. Like if they all don't, if they're not keys, if there's not, if they are keys, if I'd say it's an EP. 65th and Ingleside. So it's obviously a place in Chicago. Let's get it. Is this T-Pain? What's going on? He can't stop him. I was, I was just like, yo, what? Chance is coming in our way. Wait, that's Sylvan. <laughs> Sylvan can't quit oh, quiet on this band, man. Oh, that was, um, that was all right. That was all right. I didn't like it. Is Chance doing something different and new? Yeah, to me, Chance is growing too quickly, though. Like, what do you mean? Because the sound he had with 10 Day, which went into Acid Rap, like, it changed, but it wasn't a big change. It was enough that, like, it was really enjoyable. And then from Acid Rap to Coloring Book, it's kind of like the fame. Acid Rap blew up so much that everyone wanted to work with him. And then that's what happened with Coloring Book. There was features all over it from a lot of big rappers because everyone wanted to work with Chance because he created a... He was so unique with the way he used his vocals and with the beats he used that everyone just wanted to do that. And it's true. Since Acid Rap came out, everyone's been biting that style and everyone's been biting his flow. And I think that because he's so, so famous now, because so many people want to work with him and he has been like meeting up and working with so many artists, that like it's influenced his sound so much to the point where... Is growing too quickly. Too quickly. I think. I think it's a thing. I think so many rappers and 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 singers and bands. If you get caught, if you get picked up too quickly from an, from a from a, a fucking label or from someone who gives you money, like it can really be a bad thing for you. That's why some artists like that that struggle to get famous, like through album and album and album, it's harder for them to. It's. I think it's a better growth for them because they you know they don't have the money and means to to grow to grow quickly. 
but it's still been two years since colouring a book and even longer since the other mixtapes. That's very true. So we're looking three to six years here. Yeah. Either way, I, I wasn't a big fan of this track. I didn't, I didn't really like the way the, the beat used his vocals. It was just, it was very cringy to me. I did like the line about Donald though. Yes. And Chance did reference in his recent interview saying, you know, Donald's like a big brother to him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I like that. Young Chain Away and Broke No More. Wilder Calm. Featuring Super Boy. Super Boy, he's from Chicago. And Forever Band. They've done a few tracks together before as well. We shall see. Have you listened to Forward It? Forward It? No. Forward It, dope. Alright, better do something with this. What is Lala Camp? What is that? Is that Super Boy? Surely not. Is there another feature? That was him? I've heard him sound good. The third verse was Superboy. The chorus was Zakur. I'm done. What a terrible track. What the fuck is going on? Wallacam was released by... Ch this is a song named after Chicago program called Wallacam TV, which features oh. various performing artists from the city and Midwest. It also serves as a love letter to Chicago Juke music, something Chance talked about before on songs like Juke Jam. <sighs> Super Bway sounded so bad. I've heard him sound good before. Go check out Forward It <laughs> and some of his mixtape shit. What just happened on there? It looks like it was inspired by Young Thug, but like a bad kind. And he already is bad. Oh, that song was terrible. However, the production to me was more engaging and interesting than the previous track. The dun, dun, it had like the light keys and the. I did enjoy that more. Wow, wow, wow! I didn't enjoy wow. how repetitive that was. Oh, I just didn't like that track at all. Fuck, can we didn't just, like that track at all. Can we get to the next one. I just want to wash out my yeah. palate. Nah, that was, that was, I just had some bad food. That was bad. She called you something super bad. <laughs> super bad. <laughs> super bad. Super freak. Super bad. My name is Super Boy. I like this bass. Oh, do ya? Yeah. Work out, but it worked out. Now I'm missing work now, but it worked out. Had to buy a crib for my first house. Had my first kid. I love how she turned out. What it? Have so many C's. What does that mean? Pack. Silver set as well. I don't speak drugs. Fuck out of here. It's fucking shit. The fuck is happening? Is this, is this Chance Thug, the rapper? Come on, Chance. This is cringy as fuck, man. This is gonna hurt you. You're a big Chance fan. It hurts. I mean, I didn't like his last album, so I'm already expecting it to be. Coloring Book Hurt, because that's the rap is one of my favorite hip hop albums of all time. Top 10. I love that album so much. We should do a classic review of that one day. That hook is just so oh. lackluster. Another terrible track. I liked the, the beginning of the track, it had that, uh, that, that bass that started to come in, and then Chance came in. I'm like, cool, he's on his sing stuff again. I miss Chance when he's rapping, man. Even Chance in this song, he goes, I don't want my next album to be an Usher-like album. And he goes, I got so many confessions, obviously, to play on words to that, but... Bruh, please let me... If, if you want to get the singing out and these singles good, just don't leave this shit on your album, man. This song is terrible. And just and then that, that fucking middle bit where you start to use your higher voice and then that those... Whatever sound effect that came in, like, it just sounded so corny. So... And, and, oh, bro. I just didn't like this track. I'm not, I'm not digging these tracks at all, man. These, are, these aren't as bad to me. They're just terrible because I know you're, you're so much better than this. So much, so much better than this shit. I didn't enjoy this <sighs> either. 
I might need security. Yeah, I think he's you. I think he's talking to you. Or us. Oh. There we go. That's okay. Please rap. Please rap. He might do something here. There we go. He's 25? Fuck me. It's like a sample Drake would use. You can easily hear this on um, talking. It's so fucking hard, right? That's a, actually a, a sample. Well, from Jamie Foxx's 2002 stand up. I really? might need security. So he's titled after the, the sample he used. That's where, really cool. So Jamie sings Fuck You repeatedly. So mm. he's sample flipped it, twisted mm. it. Um, the best track on hands, the mixtape. In fact, down. the only, or on the, on the EP, whatever the fuck it is. In fact, the only good track. Martin. And the most politically charged, emotionally charged, mm. and passionate performance See, by that's Chance. the chance I want to hear. Yeah. He shines more when he raps more. I don't, I, his singer's still a rap. I like when he implements the singing through his raps, not when they're straight sing tracks. This here was a great track. The, the only problem I had with this track was the, the sample was over used. I reckon... The, the fuck you was good with the hook but I reckon when he starts the verses take it away okay. let, the, let the beat be minimalistic so his voice shines because he's so hungry and he's saying a lot on these tracks that's, fair, that's a very fair critique and I think it would improve the track I think I could you could focus a bit better too. I reckon take away the fuck you for the verses but leave it with the hook and you've got an amazing track that's my only that's my only critique but it's a good track still and I, I'm, I'm glad to hear the charts is still because I was going to be really disappointed if Chance put out four tracks I didn't like but the fact there's one I really like out of these, these four means that like, you know, there's hope. There's hope that he's going he's gonna to come out good. I bought the Chicagoers just to run you racist bitches out of business. Mm. Apparently, Chance the Rappers LLC purchased the Chicagoers website. That's, that's really interesting, man. Yeah. He is really making moves. He's, he's, like, like we mentioned before in our, in our past video, like, like you said with Kanye, he got to a stage where he you know, kind of forgot a bit about, it, but I think Chance is trying to make sure that he does everything he possibly can for his city. And that's mad respect for that. Um, mm -hmm. I donate to my school's <coughs> next. They call me a deadbeat daddy. So he's really putting on, really exemplifying like the, no matter, even oh. if you do good deeds, people will talk down and yep. try and find a way to bring you down. Mm -hmm. Best track there. Loved it. Wordplay was great. Mm. Passion was great. That's what I want to hear, man. Great. That's what I want to hear. We jungle beats, man. Chance the rapper. Uh, let's you, get some more of that <laughs> on the next project. That'd be great. More of fuck you, less of that other shit. Please type your hateful comments below and how you think every track was a masterpiece. <laughs> and uh, for y'all that agree with me, just leave below the fucking tear emoji so that our haters out there can cry with us kiss my ass in case you get this get the kitchen supplies dishes washers wishing water was delicious as wine well aware of when and where and who nigga did the crime digits midgets you know numbers tell the vicious it's lies picture pigeons could fly vision penguins with fins picture pilot to air soon school the fishes to swim